This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all a pre-made pack that I made for y'all. And in this pack, it's going to be Tesla Menu. Now, I've been seeing the comments that y'all have been leaving me. Those of you that have updated to the latest Switch firmware, which is right now 20.1.5 have been trying to use Tesla menu and it's just not working for you or there is no updated version out there. So that's what I went ahead and did. I built Tesla from uh, from source and I have it working right now on the latest switch firmware, which is 20.1.5. So I made this pack easy for y'all. I'm not uh, going to have you doing several links. It's going to be just one link that has everything you need for Tesla menu to be working and I hope it does but I just wanted to show you that my switch right now is currently on the latest switch firmware which is 20.1.5 using the latest uh, atmosphere which is 1.9.1 and I have Tesla menu working just fine for me I'm gonna go in and out and yeah so just wanted to get Tesla uh, working for y'all because those of you that use like FPS locker status monitor or Sysclock, uh, they can use it with the Tesla menu. So let's go ahead and get you set up. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get started, in order for Tesla menu to work, you do need to have a modded switch. And on top of that, you do need to have CFW already set up on your SD card. So if you don't have CFW already set up, or the latest version right now, I do have a pre-made pack as well. And I will leave a link in the description to that video. If you want to update your uh, CFW to the latest version and we can go from there. But once you have CFW already on your SD card, we can go ahead and access it. And it doesn't matter how you access your SD card as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. In this video, I'm going to be using the Hecate SD card tools. It is extremely reliable and I recommend using that. So once you have the SD card open, we can now download this one zip file for today. So if you look in the description down below, there's going to be several links. One of them should say, click here to download the Tesla menu overlay sys modules uh, 20.x.x. So once you click on the link, it should take you to the page where you can start the download process. And after that, you can have it moved to the desktop like I have done already. Now, all we need to do is extract these files to the root of the SD card. Now, I'm going to be using 7-Zip to extract my files. I always use 7-Zip on all my videos. I never have any issues with it. And if you want to follow along with me, I'll have a download link for 7-Zip in the description as well. But once we have 7-Zip, I'm going to uh, right click on my zip file, go to 7-Zip and click on open archive. Once we have that, we're going to see that we have a folder for Tesla menu. Go ahead and double click on that. And in here we have the folders that we need in order for Tesla menu to work. So all we need to do next is just highlight both uh, folders and then extract them to the root of your SD card. And that is the beginning of your SD card without being inside any folders. And you're going to want to make sure that you extract these files here on this empty space. That way you don't accidentally put them inside a folder. So here it says that I have uh, files with the same names. That's because I already have these files on my SD card. So it probably won't say that to you, but if you have an older version of Tesla menu, then you can replace the files in the destination. So let's go ahead and do that. And after we have extracted these files, we can go ahead and um, try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and eject my SD card and get back on the switch. So once I get there, I'll get right back to you. Okay, so if you're able to boot back into your switch with no issues, no crashing, then you should be good to go. I hope none of y'all have any issues, but of course, if you do, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. But now that we're here, I'm gonna show you one more time that I am on the latest switch firmware for those of you that might not believe this. But you can see that I'm on the latest switch firmware right now, which is 20.1.5 and the latest CFW atmosphere 1.9.1. And if I try to access the Tesla menu, I can. And there we go. Tesla menu is working for me. And if it works for you, then you can go ahead and get back to using um, the any type of sys modules that you do. Now, if you're interested as well, I do have videos on other things that you can use with the Tesla menu. 
And for example, uh, we have the FPS locker, the reverse NX, um, sys clock, and status monitor. You can have the FPS counter on your screen if you'd like. And you can see at the top left hand corner, if you're interested in those uh, modules, I do have a video on this that I had just made as well. I'll have a link in the description. And it's also a pre-made pack that comes with FPS locker, reverse and next status monitor and sys clock all in one. And it, you can go ahead and uh, click on the link, watch the video and get set up with, the, with that. I do also have another Tesla video with background music. Called, uh, I think it's called SysTune. I'm not sure it's, it's an older video, but it should work still. And you can have an mp3 player and have your own custom music that you'd want playing in the background of your switch so if you're interested the links are going to be in the description to those videos and you can go ahead and check them out now we are pretty much done tesla's working for me i hope it works for you as well of course leave a comment if it does work leave a comment if it doesn't work i'll try and help you out as best as i can now the video is over but i'm going to continue uh, more on this video. So those of you that are interested, I'm going to be testing Tesla menu out in game and with Cuphead. I'm going to be using Edison to um, access the cheats. So if you're interested, I'm going to go ahead and download the cheats for Edison and uh, try it out on Cuphead. So those of you that are interested can stick around. Those of you that are done and are ready to use Tesla menu, um, Thanks for watching and good luck. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so those of you that are sticking around, we're gonna go ahead and download the cheats with the AIO Switch Updater app, the cheats. Now we can go ahead and enter Cuphead and see if, you know, using Tesla menu and if I have any cheats for it. I have to have a, a, a title or game running in order to see if Edison has it um, has any cheats available, so go ahead and enter the game and get into a level. I don't know if you can hear me, but I do well, have audio. Cuphead and his cowboy man, they like to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game, and gosh, they paid. Gotta be mug man. All right, so if I hope it's not too loud, but I'm gonna be uh, just using test the menu in one of these levels and uh, see if there's any cheats. So we'll do at least one level. Oh, if, well, I shouldn't die. Let's see. Let's see what test the menu has. Okay, I hope that y'all can hear me. So, Edison cheats, I did find it, and right now I have infinite HP, infinite special, and coin saves. Okay, let's see if I have these options. There you go. Shouldn't be able to have this. <laughs> I am overpowered. I shouldn't be able to die either. Let's see. Oops, let me do that. Just to have it to hold the run like that. Cannot die. There you go. So this thing is working for me. Um, let's see if I can die now. enjoyed this video and have a good day or take care.